Yo, what up, guys? It's Johnny John, aka Emperor Reffer. This is frankly episode 10. Busy week this last week, it's Saturday. We're gonna go train legs in a little bit. I went down to Virginia on Wednesday or Thursday morning at midnight. Arrived there, I purchased a new vehicle. We finally are done with the Lemon Law car. We're finally done with the Lemon Law car and we're riding in style, frankly. I love my truck. Uh, Nissan Frontier Pro 4 <coughs> a Nissan Frontier Pro 4X very cool very cool and we are going to be nice to the car we're going to drive safely I did already get pulled over the first day having it for speeding uh, the cop left me off with a warning but you know you got, you know, when you get a new car, you just want to test it out a little bit. I'm sure a lot of people can relate. So we are going to go outside now. I'm going to show you my new vehicle. We're going to hit the gym. We're going to film some squats, etc. And it's going to be an episode. Uh, uh, um, it's going to be an epic episode. So this is my vehicle. My friend told me I need to come up, I need to make a nickname for it. Like that's a truck thing to do. Oh fuck man, I don't have my keys, hold on. So, <coughs> the truck, it's very cool. Um, it's four wheel drive, it's an automatic. I really, I kind of wanted a manual, I'm not gonna lie. My first car ever was a 1997 Ford Ranger, step side, manual. And it got totaled. But hold on, let me show you the inside. <coughs> I really like the interior. I think it's very cute. The, it, the uh listen to a lot of Kevin Gates in here the audio is incredible and dude I freaking so I, I rented a truck to drive down to Virginia and I accidentally left my freaking camera holder that I usually have right here so I I got it I just ordered another one off Amazon but the truck vlogs are going to continue bigly and I feel like a, I feel like this is a fresh start I had a lot of anxiety about this vehicle scenario for like half a year you know not having reliable transportation is very annoying like I had the engine light on for three months and I'm like you know driving 45 minutes to the gym to film at this place South Shore Iron and I'm like, you know, I might get stranded out there. You know what I'm saying? Or if I was hanging out with a lady. What if the car breaks down? I'm going to look like a fucking loser, you know? Or I go to my car wash place. They get in the car and they see my engine light is on. They're probably like, look at this fucking guy. He d he's got, you know, a lot of problems. So, anyway. Um, we're going to we're going to go to the gym I'm going to eat a couple meals I'm going to train at Onyx today it's just really close by it's like a mile from my house it's usually packed with a lot of normies <clears throat> but um, you know they got some good shit in there so I will see you at the gym just a quick little warm up with no knee protection or anything. Alrighty. We're gonna warm it up with 495. 
I do a, just one rep and then we'll put on some knee support. going for reps I'd like to do 12 but we'll certainly see if that's true here in a moment Not what I wanted, but it's better to be on the safer side. Going for more. We'll see what happens. We got Slipknot. Psychosocial playing. So it's getting fucking serious. It's getting real Caucasian. One more, I think. Alrighty. So I'm going to do one set of 405 for as many reps as I can. Then I'm gonna jump on the pendulum, assuming these guys get off there. There's like four of them uh, having a great conversation on the machine, you know, which is fine. I'm not gonna be that guy. I've had some incredible conversations at the gym. In fact, I'm having a conversation right now with the camera. So, you know, hopefully I get on there. The gym closes in an hour and 10 minutes. And we're gonna do leg extensions, leg curls, and some adductors, and some calves. But that goes fast. I have a philosophy with training, with compound exercises like bench, shoulder press, deadlifts, uh, squats. There's, there's nothing wrong with taking more time. Um, I think like doing two minute rests, obviously with heavy weight, it's really unrealistic. So I would rather just be ready to do um, as much as I possibly could than try forcing myself to go quicker and missing reps. I think there's a lot of benefits to getting those heavy, hard reps in. It gives your physique a certain look. Like if I wanted to do six sets of 12 or four sets of 12 as fast as possible, um, in like a two minute rest, I'd have to probably use 315. Is that as beneficial as me doing 400 or 500 pounds for, um, you know, like the same amount of reps, but just slower? I think obviously the heavier 
heavier weight is going to be more beneficial. This pendulum is very heavy, especially after the squats. Feet close together towards the bottom. Two more. <sighs> Line this up. I want to get as much range of motion as possible. I'm going with 160 pounds. I'm going to aim for 20 reps. Too light. Two hundred and forty pounds. Feels too light too. The fuck? All right, two sixty. So fucking around. Squeeze at the top. Really flex center of your quad. Holy fuck. Yo, I lost some footage. I don't know where it went. But I did that. I superset that with lying hamstring curls. Finished with some adductors and some calves. Also, I shaved my mustache. I explained that later on in the video. But I got deleted as well. Fucking crazy. But... All right, I just got home from the gym. I am going to, hey, hey. I'm going to hop in the shower to prevent roider acne. Then I'm going to make a meal, some red meat. I'm gonna be combining two meals so I can get to sleep. Hold on one second, guys. The aperture 
I'm going to be combining two meals so I can get to sleep on time, get up early tomorrow, and get some shit done. Sunday, day of updates, etc. We're going to clean this apartment up, get it nice and ready for the week. Next week, a productive Giga Chad week of, you know, doing, doing what we need to do, frankly. So, let me get in the shower. Okay, I'll show you my food. Alright, yo. So, I'm wearing the very limited edition Effer Mode t-shirt. I created this when I was 19 years old. Any of you uh, watching have this shirt? I had someone, I had someone uh, DM me a picture of them wearing it. Like, uh, like a month ago. I was like, damn, that's an OG right there. So I'm going to put some onions in here. And I'm going to cook, put some broccoli, 320 grams of jasmine rice, and 450 grams of sirloin steak with the fat trimmed off. So I'm going to do a quarter of an onion. Cut the fat. Look at all that shit. Isn't that weird? You know, I think if I wasn't a bodybuilder, I'd be a little soy boy vegan. I really do. It makes me sad. Like I'm cutting this. I don't know. It's probably not true. Let me not try to sound so interesting. Meat is very yummy. So 450 grams. Let's take a guess. Let's do a little game here and see if I'm right on the scale. Shit. All right, that was wrong. I'm about a, I'm almost a hundred grams off, dude. All right. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit. And we're gonna add the rice. Alrighty, so my meal is cooked. I'm gonna eat this meal. I got a plan to make. I got some updates to do. I have some chilling, etc. Unfortunately, there was not as much rice as I thought in the rice cooker. And I was thinking to myself, how am I gonna get these carbs? Should I go if it fits your macros, get a Kit Kat in? Certainly that would align. No. We just made some more rice. And we're gonna eat that when it's done in 45 minutes. We're staying disciplined, staying true, frankly. And it's gonna be epic moment. This is frankly episode 10. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, what's something I should say at the end? Stay swell and swole. Who says that? I don't know. Thank you.